Next thing you need to know about is how to run Romex wire um, inside your wall uh, to meet these boxes and how to install this in the boxes. So right here we have some 12-2 Romex wire. This is the gray stuff. It's rated uh, it's moisture resistant. It can be uh, buried in plaster or buried in the dirt. And uh, we're running that because it's going to be running down our tire wall and it's going to be covered in, in uh, outside in cement plaster and inside in Adobe mud plaster. So let's first go over how to mount the cable in the box. So what I like to do, this one's already stripped, but what I like to do is basically find your hole. Oh, also, the box has all these little holes in it, and in order to just punch one out where you want to run your wire into the box, you just basically hit it with some pliers and then just wiggle it out. It just pops right out. So that's what I've done here. So um, in order to strip the cable, you basically want to like line your if this pretend this wasn't stripped. Um, you'd want to basically line this up right here so you'd have your length. I like about eight, ten inches of wire come out through my box that, so I have a, a decent amount to work with, a bunch of slack when I'm uh, wiring up my outlets or my switches. And keep your thumb on it right here, right on the edge. And then you want a little bit extra, a little bit of the Romex sheathing to come into the box. And so basically, before you ever mount this in the box, you come here, you strip it out, and now you're all ready to go. If you don't do this ahead of time, You'll be trying to strip this out, and your hands will probably be hitting this box, and you'll cut up your hands. So, let's get a Romex connector here. Okay, this is a Romex connector. Uh, this is a metal Romex connector. They also make Romex connectors that are plastic, that are less expensive. I like these because they really lock down well, and... Uh, they really hold the cable in place. While you're maneuvering cable along the wall, I can be confident that my cable is not is going to be locked into this box. So in order to install these, it's got a connector and then a, a lock ring. And you just put the connector in with the, with the screws and the, the clamp thing outside. And then you screw the lock ring on on the inside. A little trick I do to get these on tight. Well, that screw is hitting the wood there. Sometimes you have to unscrew them a bit before you install them. They won't turn. They'll just hit that wood behind you. I like to put them at about a. If this was the angle, they're going to be. If this was zero that they're going to be installed at. I like to turn this about 45, maybe up to 90 degrees. I like to hand tighten the lock ring on the bottom. And then take some pliers, grab the clamp, hold the, the locker room with my fingers, and then turn turn it with the, uh, with the pliers. And that locks it in real nice right there. Turn about that 45 degrees is enough to lock it while you're holding it, the locker room with your fingers. Okay, so now my Romex connector is installed. So I'm going to take my wire, I'm going to run it through the Romex connector into the box. Okay, and that's basically where I wanted it to be, so now I'm just going to tighten those screws. Okay, now my Romex cable is locked into this box. Uh, next step is to secure the wire to the tire wall. So in order to do that, um, this slack I have here is just, is just I just threw this slack over the wall where I needed it to come from. So I'm going to pull up this slack after we're done, so don't worry about that. Um, so in order to get this on the tire wall here, we need to secure it with some straps. Uh, you, can, you can use a lot of different things. Uh, you can even use just a little scrap of Romex and use that just to screw onto the tire wall. I like to use some, I think this is called plumber's tape. It comes in a roll like this. And I like to cut off little sections about this size. And then I use a couple one inch zinc coated deck screws, these guys, to secure them to the tire wall. So we, something I like, I also don't like to run my wire right on the outside edge of the, uh, the tire because that's where the plaster is the thinnest. I like to go a little bit over 
like this. Come out of this box like so. And then run up along the side of the tire where the plaster is going to be thicker. Might even be some pack out over it over there. So then you just secure it to the tire wall like this. Need a screw to do that. Boom, right into the tires. So in this case, we're running vertically up the wall because this wire needs to run up to the top of the wall to get inside the house here. Um, in, in most cases, we're going to be running laterally across the wall um, to go in between outlet boxes or, uh, or light fixture boxes, electrical boxes.